Okay, picture oh. next today we have Misty and Atkin. The genre we chose is horror, and our inspirations are Halloween and Friday the 13th. This horror is different to the horror you usually watch because nowadays the horror is uh, paranormal happenings, but in the, in the, back in the day it used to be when a uh, serial killer used to chase uh, people and his mixed his victim were usually girls. Um, the plot, um, the concept of this of our film is um, the victim who's being followed by an unknown person um, for while she was on her way home, and yeah, um. and basically she's at home and she sees something unexpected and she tries to hide away from it, but. Uh, once, once she's brave enough to see what's going on, she realizes that the guy who's watching her is gone, and she texts her friend saying that they need to meet up, and uh, they, the the scene goes from um, them to just about to enter an alleyway, and she like she has a little argument with her friend because her friend says you're just imagining, and then the girl says I know what I saw. And so, as her friend leaves her, the only way she could go home is through the alleyway. And she stumbles across the uh, serial killer. And he chases her, and at the end, he kills her. Um, themes that we are using is um, slasher, which involves um, basically which involves a psych, psych <laughs> which involves a killer who's stalking um, in a violent manner. Um, also, the tool that she, um, the villain uses, is a knife. Um, we feel that this, um, this mood, this theme um, creates a mood um, that suits best for our plot and our film. Um, the camera work and editing um, that we're using are point of view shot, and slow motion, and tracking shot, and panning close up. Um, reverse um, um, and long shot and low angles. Uh, the villain is going to be wearing all black and he's going to have gloves, he's going to use a knife and there's going to be low key lighting. Um, we're going to use uh, the, the theme we're going to use the sound uh, is from Michael Myers and it matches our uh, style of genre. Our location is an alleyway because it creates a sort of abandoned and scary vibe. Yeah, um, we're also using um, um, a house, Auckland's house, um, for the main character, um, where basically where it all starts. Um, this is a, this is a, which we, the reason why we chose this um, location because it creates, um, like, it, it, like, yeah, it creates a lifestyle of how the, how we see the normal character, of how her life goes from um, normal and then she gets killed in a violent man, manner. Um, the characters, um, we're only using three characters which is myself as I am the villain, um, Elicia as the victim. We chose um, the victim as a girl, um, as a female, because um, we wanted, like, we didn't, we wanted to make the film more scarier as the end. The credits will appear at the beginning of the opening sequence and it will show images of uh, knives, forests and other deserted places and the, the typography will be in red Our visual style um, for our film our, our main, our main um, visual style is mostly low-key lighting because we want yeah, to create effect to set a mood 
and we want to also use um, a lot of close-ups to show the facial expression of the victims yeah, and the person. And yeah, that's it. Any, any questions from the floor before I ask any questions? Kezia? How are you going to get like, the knife? Um, he's gonna be a fake knife. He's gonna be a fake knife. You could, um, is like as you see, like when you see the knife, you will know it's fake. So, it would so it's a rubber knife. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, you do need to also write into your risk assessment how you're gonna do it because regardless of whether it's a rubber knife, if yeah. you're gonna have it out in public, then people could mistake it for a yeah. real knife. Okay. Um, what are the what's what was the what, not what the purpose is, but what's the what was your ideals for the cinematography choices that you want to use? Like, why do you want to use them? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, you, you kind of mentioned the list of yeah. uh, camera shots and, that, and, and angles that you were going to use. Um, um, for example, um, we want to use point of view shot is because um, we want to we want to know like the victims being watched. So that would be a great, great camera work. Um, yeah. So, so the POVs are from the point of view of the villain, right? Yeah. Then. And we want to use the close up a lot because we want to show the character's emotions as she's being watched and chased. Yeah, it's yeah. quite claustrophobic as well, isn't it? Just use close ups. Yeah. Um, I've got a couple of questions. So, first one: how 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 does this opening sequence relate to the rest of the film? As in, I understand what your opening scene is, but if, if I was to watch the full 90 minutes, what would actually happen in this film? Basically, uh, it would just be the same thing, uh, kill a, uh, get, uh, chasing people and killing them. It's, it's just basically like, like, you know how Michael Myers, he just um, kills anyone who comes in his way. Right. It's, it's basically like that. But this guy who, he's just... He's just vicious, basically. He just kills. So what's the it kind of leads on to another question I was going to ask? So what's what's the killer's motivation? So why what, what, why why is it why is he or she killing these people? And is it someone that is it someone that that they know? Do they know who this killer is? Is he part of a social group? Or? Right. So it's just someone running around happily yeah, yeah. killing people. Yeah. yeah. Without any particular. Yeah. Okay. And then who would be the protagonist? Because you're killing off your main character in the first two minutes, which is fine. People do that sometimes. But then who who would be who would then become the protagonist? Is it someone trying to catch the killer or is it someone who's gonna potentially be a victim? Um I think uh it could be um the victim's boyfriend, but we're not sure yet. Um he could also be killed. What the victim from the from the start, the first yeah. victim's boyfriend. <coughs> yeah. Which what becomes the protagonist, becomes yeah. the hero. Yeah. Because he's trying to find out who killed his girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think it's, pro it's probably quite important to think quite a lot about that, what the film would be as a 90 minute film. So that, that will help you when you film your two minute scene to set the right tone. Because if you don't know what you're doing for your 90 minute film, then an opening sequence... <coughs> you, you're not making a short film, you're making the first two minutes of a 90 minute film. Yeah. So just try try not to forget that that it's not in isolation. You're supposed to be setting up a bigger narrative as well. Uh, but yeah, well done, boys. Good. Um, so.